Hey everyone, Cardi B is really going through it right now. We thought it was bad enough when she was battling Offset's side chicks on social media, but now she's clashing with his family, especially his mom. Cardi says Offset's mom has been helping him hide his affairs and cover up his baby mama drama, but it gets crazier. Offset just called out Cardi publicly for embarrassing his mom and is demanding a public apology. If she doesn't apologize, he's threatening to file for divorce. This drama is wild. All right, so here's the deal. Offset just can't help but make Cardi look bad. It's like his favorite pastime. The guy can't stay faithful. He's been with half the women in Hollywood, New York, and Atlanta. He's cheating all over the place and doesn't even seem to care. The wildest part is he goes for side chicks who love attention and can't keep quiet, which is why he keeps getting exposed. It's obvious he has a type, and he doesn't care if Cardi gets embarrassed every single time. These side chicks keep spilling the tea. And don't even get me started on the whole Cuban doll drama. Remember when she dragged Cardi by revealing Offset tried to cheat with her and her friend? She even leaked their texts. I want you and Cuban. Can you make that happen? Yes. Tell her. I'm with her now. Where you at? Atlanta. I go to New Orleans tomorrow. I'll fly y'all. She got a show in Milwaukee Saturday, so she ain't gonna be able to. I would, but I know you want her with us. So let me know what you want to do. I'll fly her there Saturday. A few years back, Cardi B and Cuban Doll had a massive Twitter feud. It all goes back to December 2018 when Cardi split from Offset because of cheating rumors. One of those rumors was that Offset asked Summer Bunny and Cuban Doll for a threesome. Back then, Cuban denied ever knowing Offset, and by early 2019, Cardi and Offset were back together. Cuban blew up on Twitter, claiming Offset tried to hook up with her and that she was paid to lie about it. The drama started with Cuban's cryptic tweets, which Cardi took personally. One tweet said, I pray a man don't marry me just to cheat on me. That's next level OD disrespect. Another tweet was, I could never be inspired by someone I don't listen to. Simple stop trying to force that on me. People thought Cuban's latest photo shoot looked a lot like Cardi's WAP look. Cardi fired back with a tweet about people DMing her about her tape, hinting that folks have short memories. Cuban clapped back, saying it was weird Cardi thought she should be inspired by her. The feud escalated with Cuban calling Cardi a bully and accusing her of overreacting about clothes, dragging Offset into the mix. Cuban even jumped into Cardi's replies, claiming Offset tried to hook up with her. Cardi then shared screen grabs of Cuban's shady tweets and called her out for deleting them. She posted DMs from December 2018, showing Cuban's saying she didn't know about the threesome rumors. Cardi asked, is that threesome true? And Cuban replied, I never knew about it until that day. That's not me texting him if you read the messages. Cardi basically said Cuban was looking for clout and called her out for changing her story now. Cardi posted those DMs from 2018 and a clip from a TMZ interview where Cuban denied knowing Offset. Cuban said, no, I don't know him. I never even spoke to him. He wasn't actually texting me. I'm just caught in the middle because my name in it, you know. Hey, Cuban doll, how are ya? Hey, you know, you, you're caught in this Cardi B Offset breakup. You're right in the middle of it. I, is it true? Did you hook up with Offset? No, I don't know him. I never spoke to him. I haven't never had no conversation with him. Was he wasn't was actually texting me. Yeah, so I'm just caught in the middle because my name in it, you know. The other girl, she has no name. She don't do nothing. It's Summer Bunny? Summer Bunny. It's all based off her trying to get clout. Like, that's the only thing it is. So, so it's a bunch of clout chasing stuff. And my name caught in the middle of it because I you have. You never met him, is what you're saying? I never met him. Really? Never texted him. Never accepted no type of agreements with him. Because under it, that. According to the text, Summer Bunny was texting Offset in June about a, about a threesome. Yeah, I don't know. You didn't know about Me that? Me and her, we've been fell out. We're no longer friends. We have not been friends for a while. You, did you know about the text? No, I never knew about the text till it got exposed. I really thought it was fake. Do you have a message for Cardi then? Because you know, she she's probably heartbroken and you know she she her marriage is broken because of this thing. Nah, message. Cardi hit me up. She knows what's up. She know that I have nothing to do with that. So 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 she she already talked to Cardi? Yeah. She's cool with you? Yeah, she knows I have nothing to do with it. When Cardi and Cuban talked about it in their DMs, Cuban said the screen grab looked fake to her. Over the TMZ clip, Cardi wrote, This is you as well. Like I said, don't try to act like a victim because I replied to those deleted tweets you directed at me. Just tell your label to pay me for the promo. Cuban then responded, saying the message looked fake to her and that she didn't know Offset wanted to hook up until it came out because he was with her friend. She claimed, Girl, you know I was paid to clear his name, adding some laughing 
laughing emojis. Cuban fired back at Cardi's screen grab and video clip, asking, What is this proving? Who are you trying to convince? Your husband tried to f*** me and I'm still not inspired the end. Cardi got fed up and said, First you said the girl was no longer your friend, then it turned to he was f***ing her. Now it's he was trying to f with you? You can't even keep up with your own lies. Show me the receipts. You started this yet asking me what does it prove? Honey, you need this moment, not me, Cardi added. I never said you were inspired. I personally didn't care. But it's clear it hit a nerve because it got your little Twitter fingers popping. Later, Cardi decided to delete the tweet, saying, It's bad for business and I'm done helping out the needy. I want to apologize to my fans. I know y'all get upset when I give attention to germs. Three minutes later, Cuban posted on her Twitter, saying she don't need no attention from no rat but the Cuban doll drama is only the beginning. Remember when Cardi lost it because of Offset last December? Because you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again and still be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself, nigga, because of your album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so fucking years that I'm up yet. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't take me seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm so fucking tired of this. Back then, we all thought Cardi flipped out because she found out Offset was still messing around with Jade. But plot twist, it wasn't about Jade at all. Turns out she found out Offset got another woman, Pre, pregnant. We just found out about Pre last week when her friend Blue spilled all the tea after they had a falling out. Blue exposed the whole affair, airing all the dirty laundry for everyone to see. To post my address was a low blow, but I got a lower blow for you because this all over Cardi husband. This is all because a married man getting pre-pregnant and making her get determination for chum change and her telling everybody and them assuming it was me telling everyone but really it was the B who got the termination who was telling everyone I don't care no more I don't care about nothing no more cause you running around telling my address but really can't keep their personal business about a married man to their self Blue was on a mission to spill every last drop of tea because she was beyond furious she said Offset shelled out $115,000 to pre for a termination and allegedly paid Blue another $5,000 dollars to keep her quiet. But hold on, the drama doesn't stop there. Offset supposedly paid their third friend Kayla to jump Blue and beat her up, paranoid that Blue would expose him. Blue posted the receipts of the payment and wrote, Buddy offered me 15k to not tell nothing. I kept it solid. This was March 6th, the same day and night that Kayla walked up to me randomly trying to me. Despite all the drama, Cardi B has always stood by her man. She fiercely defends him, especially when fans drag her and tell her to leave him because of his constant humiliation. She's ride or die, no matter what. Even worse, Cardi was facing a lot of pressure from her inner circle, including her own dad, to forgive Offset. It's tough when the people closest to you push for forgiveness, despite all the chaos. She once tweeted, Why my dad was yelling at me because somebody told him me and Offset broke up and I'm quick to cut my dad off so don't get comfortable. You'd think with all this drama, the least Offset's family could do is show Cardi some love and respect, right? But no, they've made it clear they're not fans of hers and constantly shade her. Offset's own father once went on social media saying, social media is a powerful tool but certainly no place for family situations. However, our youth, specifically my son's wife, doesn't understand that. She seems to want to take everything to social media without regard to the devastation it has on others, past, present, and future. My son is not innocent as he has done his share of dirt, but the whole scenario is a never-ending drama session, he continued. It's a tick-for-tat, mud-slinging situation fueled by jealousy, envy, insecurities, psychological issues, etc. Like most young adults, he doesn't always do what he's advised to do. But we are talking about a 25-year-old with an unlimited supply of money, women chasing him, people at his disposal, etc. Couple that with a hot-headed female that thrives off social media attention and is on the same financial level as, or above him, and it's a recipe for disaster. After Cardi called out Offset last year, his sister got caught liking shady posts about Cardi and seemed intent on humiliating her. Well, it's pretty obvious that Offset's family isn't too fond of Cardi B, and they're not hiding it at all. But now, things might have reached a new low because Cardi just publicly called out Offset's mom for supposedly covering up his baby mamas and affairs. Just the other day, Cardi spilled the tea on 
on Offset's whole cheating saga with Pre and politely told everyone to mind their own business, just when we thought Cardi had moved on from all the drama. Turns out she's still holding on to the grudge, but now it's worse because she's calling out Offset's mom for turning a blind eye to his antics and enabling his affairs. Cardi accused Offset's mom of betraying her while trying to act like the perfect grandma to Cardi's kids. This was the proof we needed to confirm that Cardi and Offset's family are not on good terms. She also went live on Instagram to spill all the tea and call out Offset's mom for siding with him. Anyways, so I told people to stop playing with me. But y'all, you wanna keep f***ing playing with me? It's so annoying when, you know, I think because I'm ghetto or because I'm emotional, people like, they like to gaslight me and they think that they can manipulate my brain. But little do you know, I'm very understandable. I'm very understandable. And when I have it to hear, that's when I'll go on live because if you don't under, if you if you think that you're gonna gaslight me with your bullshit, that's when I'm gonna go public so you can understand me a little bit better. Now, word on the streets is that Offset is furious with Cardi for humiliating and disrespecting his mom. Apparently, he's been causing a lot of drama at home over it. According to an insider, Offset has been picking fights with Cardi about this and demanding that she publicly apologize to his mom. But Cardi is standing her ground and refusing to apologize. People think that Cardi and Offset need to get it over with and fast. Things are not the same and they probably never will be in the future either. Cardi needs to get this man out of her life and move on. And another person said, she's not going to miss anything if he divorces her. How can you miss something she never had? He was never really all hers anyways. SMH. What do you think about this drama? Do you think there's a way to rekindle the fire between Cardi and Set or is all done and dusted? Let us know down in the comments section.